in this video we're going to look at looping we will use the cpi o data adapter to do the auto loop i will mention i will explain what i mean auto loop to get all the rows for a particular entity in this case is a product or we get the top end row okay before that uh, then first let's look at the metadata and this link we can get it from browser so this one we can right click and then save as save as a edmx file and i already uh, save it and prepare it here uh, okay yeah <coughs> save to local this will be used in the uh, uh, CPI development later then next uh, and we'll try this query in Postman first this is to get all the products of Northwin or data so here With this v2 Northwind Northwind dot service products we select only the product ID and product name and by default uh, Northwind maximum will return 20 rows only if so if you grow scroll to the bottom most you can see here the the next link it mentioned skip token equal 20 mean all this is 20 row already then the next call is a uh, it will skip the first 20 then it will be take from 21 onward for example if we do like this follow this skip token equal 20 you can see that uh, let's, let's run it See the ID is now 39 and 40. So if this is second page with the uh, first 40 uh, record already we already shown just now. First page 20, another page another 20. So all to 40. So the pattern is like this. And what I meant by this auto loop is the CPI O data adapter let's look at uh, this O data v2 receiver adapter URL uh, here we should, we should read through this uh, guide and understand the the behavior and the limitation and the part that i want to show you is on
Yeah, here the base size path. Base size. Uh, default is empty. If no value server pagination is taken, the next it will auto take. From what I understand is it auto take the next um, link as a base site. Uh, in the example, nothing 20 row page only, so it take the 20 row page. This one, this this process in page, uh, we will cover in the next video to show how to use this one. For now, let's go to the CPI. Okay, here I already developed the iFlow, and I will explain step by step. This is a sender URL, just a plain HTTP. Okay. Then on the old data adapter, for the address, we will put this uh, Nofin service endpoint without the product or without the entity. Then in the processing, this is a part that uh, we specify the <coughs> resource path that we want and query option this one uh, is come from a wizard in earlier video already shown how to use the wizard so i will not repeat again and currently page size is empty and and the query is not specify the top means uh it doesn't specify uh a, a number of row but we are query all the row okay and deploy this content type uh again is a uh, only optional it's just that to make the postman respond auto format as a XML. Okay, let's go to go to postman here. Yep, here we do a get or post is the same. Uh, it's without any body. And when we trigger run it. We can see, we can see that we get total seventy seven product in this uh Nofin product all is seventy seven only mean it get all now I want to show you the um the trace let me set the trace first. Okay, and I run again. <coughs> okay, the uh Let's look at uh, this one. This, yeah, this one. You can see here it's a one slash eight. 
we will click next and this is a uh, 61 tier 77 and there's no uh, the next link then it's, it's randomly uh, not in order and we don't know how internally the CPI handle it but um, we can see that uh, this one is until 40 okay let me click further the third page another page of data this is 20 and the fourth page 441 to 60 let's now let's look at the header part you can see the all different the request URL skip token 20 then skip token 40 and this one is 60 the final one and this one should be the uh, the earlier first one without any uh, skip token so here you can have a clue how CPI adapter handle this and auto process auto loop I call it auto loop because it, it can uh, continue the page and auto take the next page and then combine all one together like this save you the effort to manually combine and append the payload okay so and now let's try with this option we, we let's say now we don't want to get all maybe it's too large and at one time we only get uh, a limit let's say 50 so let's let's take it as, as 50 uh, this one and percent and top equal to 50 deploy So now when we run again we, we get 50 only uh, and from the trace Now you can see the the top is included. This is the last URL that CPI calling. This is the skip token 40. So only 10 more need to take. Uh, uh, o, Northfin O data auto calculate this so that uh, it tells us 10 more to take after 40 already retrieve back so after the first call then 30 more need to take yeah so again this is a payload also that uh, 
CPI call and combine all page together as one result here then last thing I want to show is the base side let's say instead of the default using the default now I change it to 10 Okay, you can see the earlier we have the one slash six uh, page here to browse through after I change it to 10 when I call again it still get the 50 same result but when I uh, okay first you can see the time also four second compared to six two second it's like doubles because the number of call doubles already more call then took more time to complete and you can see here is 10 already earlier is six now it's 10 and if we browse to Uh, let's see the header first. Header. So now the top is always 10 and 10, 10, 10. So the base side influence this one. Yeah, so this is the old data looping, auto looping that you no need to do anything and it will loop. So if we the takeaway is if you want simple if the uh, is calling using old data and we want to use simple approach, then this is the way that we should we can use. Then it will achieve the result. Okay, that's all uh, for this video. Thanks for your time. Next video, I will talk about uh, old data looping also, but uh, we will talk about this process in page option. Okay, thank you.